Well, hello, welcome to Izzy Siro. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Taurus love prediction reading for February 27th through March 5th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humble. I'm always honored and most grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, stubborn, kind, patient, sweet Taurus. Show me spirit guys. What's going on my Taurus? Show me spirit guys. What you got going on Taurus? Let's see. Tower. The Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, Ooh, and the Five of Wands. All I can say is no more. Taurus, no more. You are not waiting for whoever this loser is anymore. You don't need... <laughs> I don't know who this was or who they, whatever, but you are angry. You are done. You are, and I just read this for another sign, but you are no longer waiting for this loser. Someone, you, this not a pentacles. This neck. you've been patient. You've been kind. You, you, you know, you were going after gold with them. You, and when I say a goal, you guys, you might've thought you had a goal of marriage with them, but guess what? It's over. It's done. You are not waiting on this loser anymore. No more will you wait. For a loser. And they are definitely a loser. They are an asshole, an a-hole, a jerk, a piece of crap. That's what they are. And you have been with them. Um, and, but you're no longer going to be with them. You're done with this. It's over. Because here's this Ace of Swords in the middle of the reading. The Ace of Swords is clarity. And the Ace of Swords is telling me that you have clarity now. When I say you have clarity, you know just what you want to do, how you want to do it. And you see this person for exactly who they are. They have hurt you. They have walked on you. They have not been kind to you. But yet you've been patient and been with them. You you thought, you know, maybe, you know, here we go with this changing, this personal change. Maybe this personal change. That's what you thought. But you have been kind. But guess what? You're not kind anymore. You're done with the with the foolishness. Because here's this five of pentacles. They play with your emotions. They hurt your feelings. They made you feel less than a person. Less than. You always feel like you just weren't good enough for them. And in addition, I'm going to be very honest with you. I think they even fought, fought with you. And when I say fought with you, that five of wands there. That five of wands. Five of wands is conflict. But I even see them trying to put their hands on you if they didn't they did try to put their hands on you i see this person as just a abusive person someone that's abusive both mentally and physically but it, it's okay now because guess what it's never okay to take abuse but it's okay because you you have you have let this go it's almost like i see with this tower card at the beginning of this reading that you're just basically running from this fool whoever this is you can't it's just all of a sudden bing something went off in your head and you just said enough and I'm done and you see the clarity and you know you don't want this asshole anymore. Because, like I said, they always, they mess with you mentally. They did. They mess with you mentally. You felt like you weren't good enough. They cheated on you. I mean, this just this person, I just don't see a good person. And then here you are with the five of wands. I even believe that there was physical abuse here. Definitely mental, but I also believe there was physical as well. Um, swords energy is always about, um, is, um, about the ment mental energy as well. And that mental energy could have just, I just think could have, it shows clarity, but I think it's clarity because you saw them for what they were, who they were, 
<clears throat> you are clear now that you don't want to be with this person anymore. It took you a long time, though. It did, but you, you were patient with them. It took you a long time, but guess what? You're not patient anymore because you're done. This is this relationship is over. Now, I'm going to see. Um, show me spirit guides. <sighs> not quite sure. Let's see. Show me spirit guides. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading for you. I want to know what exactly the spirit guides, what additional information the spirit guides want you to know about this um, relationship that you had, this abusive both mentally and physically abusive relationship. What do the spirit guides want you to know? Show me spirit guides. Sit back, relax, and just give me three to five minutes. Why is the tower card here? Show me why is the tower card here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the tower card here? Two of wands. Two of wands. Yeah, you're looking you're looking to the future. You're gonna start all over again and be with you. You're no longer going to be with them. That tower card means you, you're putting it. You're putting things all together again. You're starting. You're starting and putting the pieces back together, um, but you're no longer going to be with them. So you're going to build a new life. You're building a new life. So let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Show me why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Five of Cups. I told you. Look at all these fives I've gotten this reading. This person was just nasty. I mean, uh, the Knight of Pentacles over this Five of Cups. You feel regretful and remorse. You feel depressed. You feel down. I just, whomever I'm reading for it, you're better than this. You're far better than this. Because the Knight of Pentacles means that you were determined to be with them. It's almost like you were stubborn and on a mission, on a goal to be with them, to change them, to turn them around. But they, they're, they're, that's not for you to do. That's not for you to do. And in the midst of all of this here, look. Now here you are with this Five of Cups energy, not feeling, you know, feeling of, of feeling of depression, feeling down. But you, you know, you, you can't do, you can't change someone. They have to change for themselves. And this person, I don't even understand this relationship. So let's see why this Ace of Swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Ace of Swords here for my Taurus? Show me spirit guides. Two of Pentacles. So here's the problem. Herein lies the problem. You kept juggling this emotion because the two of pentacles, you kept juggling this emotion with this person. You kept saying you're going to stay with them or you're going to leave. I love them. I love them not. There was a whole bunch of emotions that you were juggling. The reason you were stubborn, you were sticking in there where you were patient, you were trying to stick in there with you, hoping that they'll change. But now here with this ace of swords, honey, you have clarity. You're no longer waiting you're not waiting around you're putting the pieces together to move forward you're tired of the depression you ended this relationship you put the pieces together you're moving forward you're no longer in this ambivalent stage or the stage of not knowing exactly what to do um should i stay should i go you know you knew you found that clarity you have clarity you know what you should do so let's see why is this five of pentacles here show me why why is the five of pentacles here show me spirit guides why is the Five of Pentacles here? Huh. Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups. You've got options. You've got options. You've got options, but more important, let me tell you, they had options too. And I think that um, they didn't look at you as you weren't their only option. Let's say it like that. Let, let's say it, let's, it's confusion because you weren't their only option. They made you feel less unworthy because you weren't their only option. They had other people too. They had other people too. You weren't their only option. Yes, you do have options, but they had options too. Where you were faithful and loyal, they had options. They had other people that they were dealing with as well. This is just a, um, I don't know. This is just not a good person to me. This is someone that's very abusive, physically and mentally. So let's see why the Five of Wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Five of Wands here? Huh, look at that. I pulled that King of Wands. This might have been a husband. It might have been a husband. I strongly believe it could have been a husband. Or it could be someone that you've been with for a long period of time that they like your husband. Um, but uh, that knight of that that uh, king of wands has always been my husband card, or someone that is definitely 
has the role of husband in your life. And like I said, here's just five of wands. They're abusive as well. Let's start at the beginning, the Tower card. The Tower card, you're finally moving away from something that's really no good. You, you ended it, sudden ending. Um, I see you just, I mean, I see you just walking out and not taking anything but a bag of clothes. I mean, seriously, I see, I, that's how much I see this. And because I see the Two of Wands here, you're like, I'll start over. I'm starting over. I'm putting the pieces together to get my life back together. Knight of Pentacles, you were determined, stubborn, trying to change this person, but you can't change people. Five of Cups, you were feeling down, remorseful, um, depressed. That's how you felt. That's how you felt when you were with them, too. Because here's the Ace of Swords. Let me tell you. That Ace of Swords is all about clarity because you had this Two of Pentacles here first. You were going back and forth. You weren't sure what you wanted to do, how you wanted to do it. What, um, you know, I love them. I need to stay. I've been with them. I mean, you were juggling all kinds of emotions until well, all of a sudden this clarity. You have clarity now. You have clarity now because guess what? They always made you feel like you were less than. Then you were less than, that you were not good enough for them because they always had, you have options too, but they always had other options as well. You were not their only option. They were hurtful, very hurtful. They are, and here you are with this five of wands. Five of wands is conflict, but I see this as fighting. This is a abusive relationship. And here's a king of wands. He was either your husband or a significant other that stood in that role as a husband. You've been with them for a while. You lived together with them. But they were very abusive both physically and mentally. And I dare to say even spiritually. I mean, this was just mental, spiritual, physical abuse. I really see this with this relationship. Now, let's see what my oracles have to say to you. What do my oracles have to say to you? What do they have to say? Let's see. Huh. They said, oh. Let go. Move on. Let go. This person's not for you. This person, it's time. It's just time. Because you've gone through this for quite some time, but... You let go. You definitely let go because you ended it. Sudden ending too. You let go. You let go of this this uh, situation. Good for you. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Taurus.